In the very first lecture of this section, we learned that we use observable for handling asynchronous data. And we also learned that we can handle asynchronous data using promises as well. So in this lecture, what we are going to do is we are going to understand the difference between a promise and an observable so that it will become clear when we should use a promise in order to handle asynchronous data and when we should use an observable. So let's just go back to VS Code. And here, let's comment the code from our previous lectures. So here we talked about async subject. I'm going to comment this code. And now we are going to talk about the difference between an observable and a promise. All right. Now, the first and simple difference between a promise and an observable is a promise is native to JavaScript, but an observable, it is not native to JavaScript. In order to use an observable, we need to use a third party library called RxJS in our project. And we have already seen that. So if I go back to VS Code and here, if I create a promise, so let me create a variable and let me call it as promise. And in order to create a promise, we use new keyword followed by promise constructor. So here, in order to use this promise constructor, we do not need to import it from anywhere because it is native to JavaScript. Okay, here we can pass a callback function to this promise constructor. And this callback function, it is going to receive two arguments. These arguments are going to be resolve function and reject function. So as you can see, in order to create a promise, we can directly go ahead and create it. We do not need to import it from any third party library. But if I want to create an observable, so let me again create a variable and let me call it as OBS for observable. And in order to create an observable, again, we use this observable constructor. Now, in order to use this observable constructor, we need to import it from RxJS library. Okay. And we are already doing it here. We are importing this observable from RxJS library. Right. So here it should be observable with capital O. Okay, so in order to use this observable constructor, we need to import it from RxJS library. If I remove it from here, you will notice that we have an error. So we have this error at this line and it says it cannot find the name observable. That's because this observable, it is provided by RxJS library. So we need to import that observable class from this RxJS library. So this is the first difference. Again, to this observable, we can pass a callback function. And inside this callback function, we can write some logic which we want to execute whenever this observable will be created. So this is the first difference. Promise is native to JavaScript. And in order to use an observable, we need to import it from a third party library called RxJS. Now, promise is eager. That means it returns the data as soon as promise is created. But observable is lazy. It only emits the data if there is a subscriber for that observable. Let's understand this with an example. So for this promise, you know, when this promise will be created, this callback function will be executed immediately. Okay. And to show that, let me go ahead and let me write a console.log statement. And here, let's say promises called. Okay. Then if we want, we can also emit some value by using this resolve method. Okay, so let's say from here we want to emit this value 100. Let's do the same thing inside the callback function of observable. So let me copy it and let me paste it here. And here let's say observable is called. And here instead of using this resolve method, this observable, it is going to receive a parameter. Let's call it sub. You can name it anything. And on that sub, we can call the next function. All right. Now, as we learned the promise, it is eager. That means as soon as this promise will be created, this callback function will be executed and it will emit this value 100. But when we create an observable and to that observable, when we are passing this callback function, this callback function will not get executed immediately. It will only get executed if there is a subscriber for this observable. So let's see that in action. Let's save the changes. Let's go to web page. 
and there you will notice that this message promise is called has been logged but observable is called that has not been logged because this callback function it has not been executed yet but this callback function which we are passing to the promise constructor it has been executed so a promise is eager but an observable is lazy for an observable its callback function will be executed only when there is a subscriber for that observable so now if i go ahead and if i subscribe to this observable by calling this subscribe method on that observable now you will notice that this callback function will also get called now inside this subscribe method we are not passing any callback function because we don't want to do anything with the data yet but since there is a subscriber that means this callback function which we are passing to this observable it will be executed so if i save the changes now and if you go to the web page now you will notice that we have two messages promise is called and observable is called so keep in mind that an observable is lazy that means it only emits the data if there is a subscriber for it but for a promise even if there is no user who is going to use the data which this promise is going to return in that case also the promise will return some data okay so a promise always returns some data but an observable returns data only if there is a subscriber which is going to use that data this is very important to understand let's see another difference so a promise can emit only a single value using a promise you cannot emit multiple values but an observable can emit single or multiple values so that's what we learned in the very first lecture of this section we learned that using an observable we can handle a stream of data or we can emit a stream of data but using a promise we cannot emit a stream of data we can only emit a single value using a promise let's understand this practically so here currently using this promise we are emitting a single value this value 100 so it is getting emitted now if we want to use that value on that promise we are going to use then method okay and this then method is going to have a callback function and that callback function is going to receive the data which this promise is going to emit so let's simply call it as data and here let's go ahead and let's log that data so here let's say console.log and let's log data all right let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you will notice that 100 is logged here so we are emitting this value 100 from this promise and that value is being logged here using this line now if i try to emit multiple values here for example 100 200 and 300 let's see what this promise returns in this case so if i save the changes if we go to the web page you will notice that still only one value that is 100 that has been emitted by the promise so a promise can only emit one value at a time but using an observable we can emit multiple values let's see that so currently on this sub we are calling this next function we are calling it one time and we are emitting this value 100 but if we want we can also emit multiple values so let me copy this two more times and we want to emit 200 and we also want to emit 300 okay then in order to handle this data emitted by this next function we are going to specify a callback function here let's say here we are going to receive that data and we simply want to log that data okay let's save the changes now let's go back to the web page and now you will see that by the promise this 100 has been returned and it has been logged but from the observable we can see that 100 200 and 300 has been emitted so at line number 81 we are logging the value emitted by the observable and at line number 72 we are logging the value emitted by promise so here at line number 72 we are logging the value emitted by the promise so as you can see even though here using this promise we are trying to emit multiple values but the promise is emitting only a single value the first value and that is being logged by this line but using an observable we are able to emit multiple values so this is another difference between a promise and an observable
then there are also some other minor differences like promise has only methods for success and error so if you want to emit a data we use resolve method and if you want to emit an error from a promise we use reject method but in an observable we have three methods one method for success one method for error and one method for completion so if you want to emit some data in case of an observable we use next method if you want to emit an error we use error method and if you want to emit the complete signal we use complete method then promise always returns asynchronous data using promise you cannot return synchronous data it is always going to return an asynchronous data but using an observable we can also return synchronous data along with asynchronous data so it is based on how we implement the observable so these are some of the differences between an observable and a promise and this is a very important interview question which is asked in angular interviews so it's very important to understand what is the difference between a promise and an observable and i hope i was able to clear this in this lecture this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day